Hi, Tigers! It's art time. Today we will be learning about the artist Marc Chagall, known as a pioneer of artistic modernism throughout the 1900s. If you are like many kids, you might be wondering, what is modernism? Well, prior to the 1800s, most art was commissioned or paid for by wealthy people or religious institutions. Most of the paintings were very real looking and depicted a real person or a popular story. In the 1800s and 1900s, artists started to do their own thing. They created art that was colorful, whimsical, and imaginative. Modern artists are all unique and create unexpected visuals. Today, we will be learning about Marc Chagall and his vibrant, dreamlike art. Marc Chagall was born in a picturesque Russian town in 1887, over 125 years ago. He was the oldest of nine kids born into a loving Jewish family. His parents did not have a lot of money, but they made sure he was able to go to school where he discovered his love of art. Chagall met the love of his life, Bella, when he was 22 years old, and you can see her in many of his colorful paintings. Chagall moved around a lot, trying to learn about art and also trying to escape Jewish persecution during World War II. He lived in Paris and New York, but he never stopped loving his home country of Russia, and he often painted scenes from the small town he grew up in. His art is known for being colorful, abstract, and whimsical, like something you would see in a really fun dream. There are often objects floating in the sky and interesting items sprinkled all around the canvas. Chagall created many different kinds of art, paintings, book illustrations, and even stained glass. Even after his wife Bella died at a young age and the town he grew up in was destroyed during World War II, Chagall created art with a vibrant atmosphere and a feeling of optimism. Today you will be creating your own Marc Chagall inspired houses with lots of color and imaginative shapes floating in the air. Let's get started. Step 1. Turn your paper horizontal and choose a colored pastel. Step 2. About one quarter to one third of the way up, draw a wavy line that will represent your horizon. Step 3. Draw multiple houses on your horizon of various shapes and sizes. Step 4. Add bushes in front and trees behind your houses. Step 5. Add something unexpected flying in the sky. Marc Chagall used to draw a lot of fish in the sky because his father was a herring merchant. Step 6. Color everything in. You can also add outlines to make your drawing pop. Keep in mind that your bushes, grass, and trees do not have to be green. They can be any color you want them to be. When you are satisfied with your project, turn it over and add a label and your name. Enjoy making your Marc Chagall inspired houses. And remember, this project should be colorful and fun. It's not important for it to be perfect, just imaginative. 